welcome to all hope you enjoy doing the questions so today i have taken the topic percentages uh, shall we begin let's go to the first question in an election between two candidates one got 55 percentage of the total valid votes 20 percentage of the votes were invalid if the total number of votes was 7500 the number of valid votes that the other candidate got was option A 2500, option B 2700, option C 2900, option D 3100. I'll read the question again. In an election between two candidates, one got 55 percentage of the total valid votes, 20 percentage of the votes were invalid. If the total number of votes was 7500, the number of valid votes that the other candidate got was. Let's go to the explanation. Okay, see, this is a uh, this is a total votes. So, uh, this is seven thousand five hundred, and that is equal to hundred percentage. It is said that twenty percentage of the votes were invalid, and that means remaining eighty percentage were valid votes. Also. One candidate got 55 percentage of the total valid votes. That means the candidate who got 55 percentage of the valid votes got 44 percentage of the total votes. How? Because 55 percentage of the valid votes means 55 by 100 into 80 by 100 into 100, which gives that 44 percent. Therefore, if uh, one, the one candidate got 44 percentage of the valid votes, the other candidate will get 80 minus 44, which is equal to 36 percentage. That is, one candidate got 44 percentage of the total votes, while the other candidate got 36 percentage of the total votes. Therefore, if 100 percentage is 7,500. 36 percentage is equal to 36 by 100 into 7500 which is equal to 2700. We are asked to find the number of votes the other candidate got which is equal to 36 percentage of the total votes that is equal to 36 by 100 into 7500 is equal to 2700. Let's go to the next question. If 20 percentage of A is equal to B, then B percentage of 20 is same as. Option A, 4 percentage of A. Option B, 6 percentage of A. Option C, 8 percentage of A. Option D, 10 percentage of A. If 20 percentage of A is equal to B, then B percentage of 20 is same as. So 20 percentage of A is equal to B and actually uh, it's better to study a table that relates percentages and ratios like see if 20 percentage means 20 by 100 which is equal to 1 by 5 so like that we have ratio for different percentages we use uh, usually like 33 1 by 3 percentage is 1 by 3 then 50 percentage is 1 by 2, 75 percentage is 3 by 4. Like that, there's a table which relates percentages and ratios. It's better to study the table so that you can do questions easily. So 20 percentage of A is equal to B. That is, A by 5 is equal to B. Therefore, B percentage of 20 means Substitute a by 4, a by 5 for b. Therefore, b percentage of 20 is equal to a by 5 percentage of 20, which is equal to a percentage of 20 by 5. This is similar. Therefore, um, that is equal to a percentage of 20 by 5 is 4. Therefore, a percentage of 4, which is equal to 4 percentage of a. That is, you have to know that a percentage of b is equal to b percentage of a. Uh, 
improve this or to understand it better, you can try out the options. For example, 100 percentage of 25 is equal to 25. Similarly, 25 percentage of 100 is equal to 25. Therefore, 100 percentage of 25 is equal to 25 percentage of 100. A percentage of B is equal to B percentage of A. Hence, 20 percentage of A is equal to sorry, B percentage of 20 is equal to 4 percentage of A. Now, the third question. A student multiplied by uh, a student multiplied a number by 3 by 5 instead of 5 by 3. What is the percentage error in the calculation? Option A 54 percentage, option B 64 percentage, option C 74 percentage, option D 84 percentage. A student multiplied a number by 3 by 5 instead of 5 by 3. What is the percentage error in the calculation? So let n be the number then the error value will be that is he should have multiplied the number n by 5 by 3 but he multiplied uh, it by 3 by 5 therefore the error value will be 5n by 3 minus 3n by 5 which is equal to 16n by 50 and percentage error in calculation is equal to that is the error value out of the actual value that is 16n by 15 by 5n by 3 star 100 I mean into 100 therefore n and n cancels uh, 16n by 15 whole divided by 5n by 3 will give us 16 into 3 by 15 into 5 into 100 that is 48 by 75 into 100 which is equal to 64 therefore the percentage error in calculation is equal to 64 percentage now fourth question fresh fruit contains 68 percentage water and dry fruit contains 20 percentage water how much dry fruit can be obtained from 100 kg of fresh fruits option a 20 option b 30 option c 40 option b 50 Fresh fruit contains 68 percentage water and dry fruit contains 20 percentage water. How much dry fruit can be obtained from 100 kg of fresh fruits? See the fruit content in both the fresh fruit and dry fruit will be the same. Only water is lost like that the water in the fresh fruit is lost when it is becoming a dry fruit. Therefore, the pulp or the fruit content in both fresh fruit and dry fruit will be same. And it is given that fresh fruit has 68 percentage water, which means 30, 32 percentage is fruit content. And weight of the fresh fruits is 100 kg. If uh, fresh fruits is weighing 100 kg, then the fruit content in that will weigh 32 kg. Now, the dry fruit has 20 percentage of water, which means 80 percentage of the remaining in the dry fruit will be fruit content. And the weight of the dry fruit be y kg. Then, fruit content in fresh fruit is equal to fruit content in dry fruit, that is, 32 kg is equal to 80 percentage of y. Therefore, y is equal to 32 by 100, sorry, 32 by 80 into 100, which is equal to 40 kg. That is, the dry fruit is weighing 40 kg. Now, the fifth question. The value of a machine depreciates at the rate of 10 percentage every year. It was purchased three years ago. If its present value is 8748, its purchase price was option A 10,000, option B 12,000, option C 14,000, option B 16,000. The value of a machine depreciates at the rate of 10 percentage every year. 
it was purchased three years ago if its present value is 8748 its purchase price was so let x be the value of the machine then it is given that the value of the machine depreciates by 10 percentage every year that is it is becoming 90 percentage the value of the machine is becoming 90 percentage of its previous year value hence after three years x becomes x into 90 by 100 into 90 by 100 into 90 by 100 and we are given that this is equal to after three years the value has become 8748 therefore x into 90 by 100 into 90 by 100 into 90 by 100 is equal to 8748 so this becomes x into 9 by 10 into 9 by 10 into 9 by 10 which is x into 729 by 1000 and we are given that x into 729 by 1000 is equal to 8748 therefore x is equal to 8748 into 1000 divided by 729 which gives us 12000. Uh, hope you guys understood the session. Uh, if any doubt please uh, ask them in the comment box and please let me, the, let me know the feedback. Thank you.